get this season underway, as are we. Back with more in a minute. From Petco Park in downtown San Diego, opening day baseball on the show. It's the San Francisco Giants and the San Diego Padres. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chavi. So the San Diego Padres find themselves as underdogs as the curtain rises on the season. Singy, what do you say in the clubhouse when a lot of folks are writing you off before the first pitch is even thrown? You say forget all that, Boog. Block out the noise because the season is decided on the field, okay? So there's still talent on this roster, and if one or two players have big years, they could be right in the thick of the race. That's a good point, Chris. Seems like every year we see at least one team unexpectedly make a run, and maybe this season they could be that team. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about ready to go. And our pitcher in this game, Dylan Cease. Singing, he's a guy that can rack up a lot of strikeouts. Yeah, his ERA last year was a little worse than average, so definitely be looking for better results this season. You know, one of the keys is just being able to have a consistent delivery and to be able to repeat that delivery so you can hit the spots that you want to hit and have a higher chance of being successful. Tyro Estrada, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. The one one. Come back into the mound. Gets it to first. Oh. One out in the top of the first. Now we take a peek at the Giants lineup. Now with their ace on the mound today, they're just looking to provide him a little bit of run support, and they'll see what they can do for him. Boog, you have to be really careful when you've got a guy like this on the mound for you to not oh, become a spectator. You know that he doesn't give up a whole lot, but sometimes guys get a little too comfortable and don't have an urgency to score runs. You have to make sure you put him in a situation where he can get the W, but also you guys can cruise to the finish line and not have to worry about a comeback in the end. One down, base is empty. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Man, he'd like to have that pitch back. And the 2 Got him swinging. Oh, well, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect. And halfway to the plate, you know you've committed. Aye. And you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Aye. Right down the chute. 0-2. Here's a batter who, for whatever reasons, plays better on the road, and that should help him here today. Oh, that one misses. Now one and two. Two down, nobody on. Gets a piece and stays alive. The one-two. Hard on the ground to first. He takes it on He's his down. own, and it's a one-two-three inning. Giants down in order. And now the Friars will get their first chance. No score. Major League Baseball. Back here in San Diego. And today on the hill, Blake Snell. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. And here is Xander Bogart. The second, the second base. base. Xander. The lefty fires. That's in there. Strike one. Snell, the multi Cy Young Award winner. He features a four seam fastball, a curve, a changeup, and he works in a slider. And here it comes. One ball. Way inside. Two Would we'll chase that time. Got it by him for the K. Ha Sung Kim getting ready to hit. 
Bounced up the middle. Sends it to Flores. And the home first moving along quickly today. Two gone. As we take a look at the Padres lineup, they're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit, and then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. Two outs, base is empty. Pitch misses, and that's ball two. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to, guys, this one's into the outfield. Could be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. That misses one and oh. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. One one now. Late on that fastball. One ball, two strikes. Pitch misses there. Ball two. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Yastrzemski sizing this one up. Corrals it. And that'll do it. An inning of the ball. Second inning set to go. Jorge Soler up at the plate. Jorge Soler. Crushed. Left center field. This one's deep. Forget it. Massive home run, and that gives him a lead. It's one nothing. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. Power versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? Well, a really good job there by the hitter, getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. Mike Yastrzemski up here. First pitch misses. Cease measures six feet two inches, 195 pounds, and he was a sixth round draft pick back in 2014. Carl Dixon doing the umpiring behind the plate. And, Boog, I'm not sure if it's because he sort of sets up higher than most, but one thing to be aware of with Dixon is the high strike. Not usually a big deal because most players are swinging at pitches up there, but we may see some surprise looks from hitters from time to time because that's just so unusual. So here's Wade now. Chris, do players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based well, on who's umpiring, or is it good to just be aware of tendencies so you're not that surprised? I'd say the latter, because the pitcher's got to pitch to his strengths regardless. The hitter's got to hit to her strength. So you're aware of it, but you have to just hunt for what you can handle. Bounce to the right. Cronenworth. And he handles it himself for the out. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> that's great. Got him looking, that's a strikeout. Ah, when the Giants go deep, it's bye-bye, baby. And the home team down a run. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Petco Park. We head to the bottom of the second. So digging in now for San Diego, Luis Campusano. 
gets a strike across the top of the zone. Campusano will handle the catching duties in this one, hitting fifth in today's lineup. And he was a second round pick back in 2017. The pitch. That one well upstairs. And the count is one and two. Backed off the plate that time. Straightened him up a little bit. The line and the pitch. Smoked on the ground a second. Sends it to Flores. One up, one down. So here's the Padres DH. Kyle Higashioka. Up the middle. Luciano oh. fires over to first. Two up, two down. Now batting Jerickson Profar. Well struck left field. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. And he's in at second with a two-out double. Waste no time there. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and nipped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Jake Coleman at the plate and takes high there. Well, that curveball right there stayed up in the zone. And if it's going to be effective, he's going to have to finish the pitch, tease the strike zone, and get it down. Otherwise, it's going to eventually get hit really hard somewhere. The Padres down by a run here on opening day. And it is 2 and 1. They can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Fall off foul. Man on second, two down. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Slater gets under it. Brings it in. And that's the inning. Top half of the third inning. And digging in for San Francisco, Marco Luciano. Oh, and that's outside. And that's ball one. Swing and a miss, strike one. We got a ball, one strike. The one one is fouled off. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. Fouls it off, still one and two. And a pitch. Three. And down on strikes. And there's one away. And now the switch hitting catcher, Patrick Bailey. On the ground. Bogarts with the throw to first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. The strike in the box now. No balls in a strike. Swings through that one for strike two. Two outs. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Righty to the plate. And the slider just misses. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Well, he doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. Two down, nobody on. That one missing inside. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Kicks and deals. The other way, and that's a base hit. And that's going to get into the corner. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in, and he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. of the third and here's the rookie center fielder Jackson Merrill first pitch doesn't find the zone left hand hitter waits that misses the zone and it's two and one
And another ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss struck him out. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, no but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that will go through the zone. It's Xander Bogarts now. Let off the game with a strikeout. That's hard hit on the line. And a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone. He was clearly ready to jump all over it. Here's the shortstop at the play. Ha Sung Kim. Swings and misses. And that's strike one. Well, well, Kim is one of those players that it's just hard to take your eyes off of him, man. Not many players in the 2023 World Baseball Classic yeah. had more fun than he did. He hit a grand slam in a win against China and earlier in the tournament had a two-homer game. Delivered some special moments for inside, Korea. Ball one. Next pitch inside. And a count one and two. Bogarts, the base runner at first with one out. That two one ball, almost got him. Bogarts on the goal. Three. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Wow. And that'll end in. Back here with my pal Singy. Start of the fourth. Now the left fielder, Austin Slater. And there's a foul ball. Swing and a miss as he was late. No ball, two strikes. And there's a ball. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Pitch. Lifted in the air, right center field. Hauls it in for the out. And now it's Wilmer Flores. There's a strike. You know, the first manager to ever win a game here at Petco Park was Tony Gwynn. Yes, Tony Gwynn. They had a college baseball tournament here in March 2004, and Tony managed San Diego State to a win. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Got him looking. Two down. The white white. Jorge Soler, Jorge. the next giant to hit. Not yep, close with that one. Ball one. Ball strike right there. Here's a 1 1. And it's fouled away. Two down, nobody on. As we play game one of this four game series. Aye. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. And welcome back Here to the ball. Go. Bottom four. Now it's going to be Manny Machado. Ball oh, one, no strikes. You know, Boo, Petco Park seems to be transforming into Machado's castle. I mean, nobody's hit more home runs in this ballpark. And Machado passed Adrian Gonzalez for the top spot on the list in 2023. Kicks and fires. Two and that's in the dirt. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Way back there. And forget it. He sends it out of here. His first homer of the year, and we're level. It's 1-1. That's a game changer right there. A big time swing, and we're all tied up. Pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Padres, Fernando Tatis Jr. Strike one. But he's got to delete it. He give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. 
Next nope. offering All upstairs. One. one and one. Tatis waits. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. One ball, two strikes. Pitch ball misses in. inside. It's two and two. Oh, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, two two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Now, now next, next for the Padres, Luis, Luis Campusano. Campusano. Out towards right center field. Solaire getting an angle on it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Kyle Higashioka, the next up for the Padres. Ground ball right side. Sends it to Flores, and that will end the inning. Back here in San Diego, top five, John Chambi with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Mike Yastrzemski. And that's in for a strike. All, one. All these Giants just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. Just one extra base hit for them. So they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. Into center. Merrill settles underneath it. One down. Here's Lamont Wade Jr. Wade goes six foot one, 30 years old now. And he was a ninth round draft pick. Back in 2015. And that one fouled off. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, I don't think there's a hitter alive that hasn't at some point succumbed to that pitch right there. It just looks like it's in the zone the entire way, and then the top spin and gravity take over in the blink of an eye, and it's just such a tough pitch to lay off of. Chapman stands in now and watches strike one. All tied up, and we're at the top of the fifth. And a swing and a miss. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Check swing of the 0-2, appeal to first, and he won around. Not an easy call. And we're back. We head to the bottom, the bottom of the fifth. Stepping in for San Diego, jerks and Profar. Just missed. You know, these Padres, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Whips it across, and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. So digging in now for San Diego, Jake Cronenworth. This to third. Sends it across the first. All man for the fifth inning. Moving along two quick outs. Jackson Merrill, the next to hit. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball one, no strike. And a foul ball. And a pitch. That one Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. Wouldn't chase that time. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three one count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. And now it's filled up. Helpful. Outside, and that is ball four. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we no, gave you enough no, at bats? That's, oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Snell checks over to first, and he's back. Bogarts, multi-time all-star, a member of the 1,000-hit club, and he was born in Aruba. Swing and a ground ball off the middle. That's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second, 
Two on and two out. Well, clearly he was ready to no, hit. No, 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 just kept it simple. Great no, 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 no. with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. A chance now to take the lead. And at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Kim lays off down low as he digs in for the third time. Around third. One runs in. A second scores as well. And they take a two run lead. And this is going to be a two out triple. Well, here we are, third time through the order. And this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. He's already homered here in this one. First pitch misses. Count one and zero. Oh. And another ball. Action in the San Francisco bullpen. Tristan Beck getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Rogers getting loose as well. Runner at third, two away. This one in the air center field. Yastrzemski under it. Brings it in for the third out. Well, they pick up a pair here, both coming on this two-run triple. It's now a 3-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here at Petco Park. All right, we go to the top half of Marco inning number six. Luciano. And digging in for San Francisco. Marco can't glove it cleanly. And he'll be safe at first. Up next. Up and up next for the Giants, Patrick Bailey. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. That one misses. And that's ball three. Tyro Estrada waits on deck. And there's ball four. Definitely lost the handle during that sequence. Four pitches for the yeah, walk, yeah, yeah. and that last the one didn't even threaten the I zone. Know. Catcher might want to go it's talk good. to him. Estrada, oh. the next to hit, takes low for a ball. I got to call NLDS game four here in 2022 at Petco Park, where the Padres knocked out their rivals, the L.A. Dodgers. The place was just nuts the entire game. Oh. Terrific fan support. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute to finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Still two and two after the foul ball. With the go-ahead run at the plate, and we're the top half of the sixth. And that one is lifted in the air. He's got it, and that is a big first out. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him he is looking forward to make it up for it in his next at bat Slater up to bat next lays off for ball so two balls and no strikes last two pitches have been down in the zone pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play but in this game you're gonna have to give in elevate his pitches and get back into this at bat just off the inside edge Runners at first and second with one gone as we play game one of this four game series. Three. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. So far, just one of those days for this lineup. You get a couple of runners on, and you're looking at having a big inning. And that strikeout right there just pours water on the fire. Look for the next hitter to step up and try to do something. Pick up his teammate and his club. That one the other way. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. One runs in. The tying run is in to score, 
and we are starting over. Back even, it's 3-3. Well, that was an important at-bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. Here's a... Power threat. Jorge Soler. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. Oh, over the first pitch fastball right there, but just a little bit out front. Gotta let it travel just a bit more. Chases the changeup in the dirt. And it's in time for the third out, so that will end the inning. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two run double. We're tied now with three apiece. Back after this on the show. Back here with my pal Siggy, bottom of the six. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. Well, Siggy, this is a guy that grew up in big league clubhouses, and it's something that you see throughout the game sons whose fathers also played the majors swings through the fastball up in the zone yeah and beyond that all the other men in those clubhouses that sort of take you under their wing as a son or a nephew and show you some of the tricks of the trade it's just invaluable that type of experience just overmatched on that fastball right there and it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at bat just came right after him with three straight and he had no answer for it and a foul ball. One out, base is empty. That one is absolutely belted. Way back there. And off the base of the wall. And he's into second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Everything came together for him. Just about got it out of here down the line to left. So. New arm for the Giants, number 67. One out, runner at second. And next is the designated hitter, Kyle Higashioka. So they're making a move for a bat off the bench. Tyler Wade, he gets a chance with a runner in scoring position and one gone. That one is upstairs. In the air, left field. Slater sprinting. Reaching for it. Makes the catch. Gotta love the over-the-shoulder catch. I tell you what, those are really fun to make. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder. Jerks in pro far. One for two. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Go ahead run at second here in the bottom of the sixth. Swings through that one for strike one. I got one ball, one strike. Here's a 1-1. One, one. In the air out towards right center. Yastrzemski sizes this one up, pulls it down, and he makes the catch. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Matt Waldron. This is his first appearance of the season. And that's outside. Swing and a drive. This one is crushed. No doubt about it. And here in the late stages, they have the lead. His first homer of the year. Just like that, they move in front. It's 4-3. You're not going to be able to wipe the smile off his face for a while, Boog. He just changed the game. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. 
And that one wrapped foul. Nobody on, nobody out. Here in the top half of inning number seven. No, that's and down. ball one. And he deals. Here's a rocket out to left. Makes the grab, run away. And here is Matt Chapman. Right through there for a strike. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take, gets a head and a count. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Here comes the pitch. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Comes up empty. Oh, that's strike two. That misses the zone, and the count one and two. Blows the high knee past them. That's a strikeout. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now a 4-3 ball game. You're dialed into the show. Well, one run game. And here's the first baseman, Jake Cronenworth. And that one fouled off. Looking to get the tying run on base. This to center field. Yastrzemski settles underneath it. And there's one down. Jackson Merrill, the next up for the Padres. He's 0 for 1. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Oh, Movement in the bullpen. Taylor Rogers, the left-hander, is getting that big fastball of his ready to go. Fall off foul. Holding on to a one-run lead here at the bottom of the seventh. Oh. And takes low for ball one. Ground ball right side. And he takes it himself for the out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Bogarts at the plate with two away. Oh, swings through that one. Hey. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Rips that one center field. Yastrzemski grabs it on the run. Well. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Tom Cosgrove. And he comes on here for the first time this season. And I'm sure there's some nerves involved in that. So we'll see how he settles in. Next offering is in for a strike. And nope. downstairs. Excellent arm action on that two strike changeup. Just missed. Man, he wanted that call. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Merrill snags it. And there's one down. Tyro Estrada to the plate. Baseball for a strike. And it's 0-1. Cosgrove, a 6-2 southpaw. He features a four-seam fastball, a curve, a changeup, and he works Got in a two-seamer. Over to first, and Estrada is out. Liner, base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. And now the first baseman, Wilmer Flores. Oh, that hit him. Safe at first, and now after the play, we'll check on the lefty status. And now the hustle out to check on him. That was quite a shot he took as you see him down on a knee. 
Yeah, clearly in some real pain, but he will not want to come out of this game if he doesn't have to. It's looking to me like he's going to try to shake it off and continue. Just missed. Kim. They get the force. That ends the inning as they squander a chance. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Taylor Rogers. These are the spots right, where relievers right. really make a name yeah, for themselves, right. late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. And pitches outside, ball one. Signs of movement in the Giants' bullpen. Camilo Doval getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. That's, That's a little through. bit low. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shoot it through the infield. Manny Machado up to the play. He's already homered in this game. First pitch, not close. there trying to hold a one run lead here the bottom half of the eighth inning with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base trying to stay out of the double play right here in the dirt well he just ran out of patience there he took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes but that time Chase dumps out the zone. So man aboard one down and it's Tatis at the plate. Outside, that's outside. That's Ball one. With the tying run on at first as we play game one of this four game series. Runner on the goal. Pitch in for a strike. Second with a stolen base. Well, it seems like 90 feet is such a big deal in a tight one-run game like this one. Maybe it's a little bit risky, but they felt good about it, and it paid off. Let's see if they can turn this into a big run. So the tying run at second. And this is inside. to right and they take care of top tees for the out runner tags at second and he moves up to third now two away and now the catcher comes up to him Luis Campusano one for three swung on belted Yastrzemski going back. Going gone. That should put a jolt into this home crowd. It's 5-4. Well, that swing changes things. Yes, it does. They were in striking distance. They found a way to fight back big time. Percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Now here's Tyler Rogers out of the pen. 
Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of right here. Got to do his best. To keep the score right where it is. Looks like it'll be a pitch hitter. Number 22. A critical at bat in this game for him. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. He swings and fouls one off. Back and forth we go. A seesaw battle in the late stages of this one. Two outs. Struck him out looking. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. Last chance coming up for the Giants. Well, one-run game. Here's the center fielder. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, number one. A chance at his first save of the year. Pitch. Splits the plate. On one. On one. And it skips in the dirt. Next pitch is outside. Wouldn't chase that time. Left field, Profar on the move, calls it in, and there's one away. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything oh, slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. And now the lefty, bounding ball here, rolls foul. Trying to close out a one-run lead here at the top of the ninth. Foul ball still a one and two count. Left hand batter waits. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. And here it comes. And that's in the dirt. One out left for the Giants. Matt Chapman up to the plate now. Wouldn't chase that time. Just missed. And another ball. Big pitch coming right here. Last thing he wants to do is put the tying run on base, but he can't groove one either. Next offering is in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Line drive, base hit. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on the lane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. The close one here today, and your final 5-4. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long.